Hi, I'm Steven with Dynamic Defense Solutions, and today we will be talking about first responder skills in the pre-hospital setting, and more specifically, C-spine stabilization. So what is C-spine stabilization? Well, it's pretty much exactly what it sounds like it is. It's the act of stabilizing the cervical spine, which is the uppermost part of your spine and your neck made up of seven vertebrae. If the patient is suspected to have a head or neck injury, we're going to put them in C-spine stabilization. If the patient has other life-threatening injuries, such as massive hemorrhage, airway blockage, or the patient needs CPR, we will not put them in C-spine stabilization. Make sure that the scene is safe, you call 911, and you put on your PPE. When approaching the patient, if the patient is conscious, make sure to approach them in a way that they do not have to turn their head. When placing the patient into C-spine, you will place your fingers at the base of their head with your thumbs above their ears, making sure not to put pressure on their throat or cover their ears because this is very uncomfortable for the patient. We will then put very light traction on the patient and we will hold this until professional help is on scene and you are properly relieved. If you come on a scene and the patient is in an awkward position, we are not gonna move the patient, but instead we're gonna hold C-spine stabilization on the patient in the position that they are found. We will hold this until professional help is on scene and we are properly relieved. Again, guys, we're just trying to keep the head and neck aligned with the body, creating no further injury to the spine. And that's pretty much it for C-spine, folks. If you have any questions, feel free to comment in the comment section. If this video is helpful, go ahead and like and subscribe, and we will see you next time.